Hello and welcome to episode 31 of our Temperborn Update 3 Harder Mode Let's Play with the Iron Teeth Faction. Last time we did a whole lot of cleanup work and reorganizing, moving guys around and just general improvements, little things. And now we are going to do a little bit more of that as well as messing with all of our water source blocks. That's right. A number of you have commented and said, hey, maybe you should uh, change these. So they put out more water because, you know, we've already demonstrated that this uh, this map is perfectly capable of handling 49 day droughts. No problems with 200 something beavers, almost 300 before we started reducing the population. So to that end, I think we all want to see water filling up this area right here. And we've got all sorts of time because, well, we have as much time as we want. So we have nine days left in the drought until we get to our next temperate cycle. So I figured what we'd go ahead and do right now, go ahead and pause so we don't waste any uh, time here. Oh, there's unexploded dynamite. I'd forgotten about this. I think that's been there for a couple episodes. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go into dev mode in just a little bit and increase the... Uh, power of these guys, which is going to do a couple of things. See, I tested this. I, I did a, a branching save and I tested this up for another two cycles the other day. So science has been conducted and I'm not just flying by the seat of my pants. But so what happens if you put these at the maximum intensity is it is just uncontrollable water flow that just completely overwhelms this dam system and still doesn't fill this all the way up. So I think our, uh, our MO here is going to be just seeing how much we can get to happen. Uh, come over here, maybe build a couple more dams. Uh, this area right here is going to be a concern because of how uh, shallow these floodgates are. These are going to have to come out and be replaced with taller ones. We'll have to build in a, uh, a levee right here. And then either on this side or this side of the bridge, I haven't decided which, although I'd be tempted to do it on this side so the bridge could actually be underwater. We're going to have to put in some levees here to prevent our crop fields from flooding. And then we also might have to raise this uh, this bridge and maybe, maybe this entire one too. We'll see uh, if we want this to be completely full of water all the way up to the very top here. That would actually be a full block higher than the maximum water level on this side of the map and also through all of this. So I don't know I don't know why I built it that high. So realistically, it's probably never going to get all the way to the top here. It might just kind of right about to this third line on the second from the top. No, oh, right here. Yeah, that's probably about as high as the water is realistically ever going to get. But that's still going to require a little bit of construction if we feel really, uh, really spirited about what's going on. Then we can build up another level here on this side and then also come in back behind here and do the same thing around this entire uh, entire district right here and then again here and then again here and that should get us to about where we need to be that's a very long-term project uh, we have obviously a lot of wood and we have beavers and bots willing to do that what we don't have is the ability to build fully in this area. So this would have to become a different district, which I don't personally think we're going to get to today. We'll see, depending on how long I want this episode to be. But we also have tomorrow to uh, mess with that before we go back to Kingdoms Reborn. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But at any rate, that is the plan for today, is to try and, instead of drought-proof, um, whatever the opposite of a drought, normal, temperate conditions proof everything. But it, it is going to start with us coming over here. Very first thing right now, since we're already over here, we'll go into dev mode, dev console. I don't guess we probably don't actually have to have that open to do this, but what you do is you click on these guys and you have this whole panel over here. Currently, the strongest ones are set to a strength of two. Then you have ones right here, and then the ones on the outside are two. So what I think we're going to start with is just raising the ones that are set to one to two. And then the ones in the middle from two to three. That should be enough for right now. We can always increase it if we want to later. 
Uh, the water's not actually coming out right now. That's just for whatever reason, that's what that does when you change that. Again, last time I messed with this, I had all of these set to 8, which was a mistake. Yeah, this this shouldn't be uh, putting water out. Okay, that's just, that's just lighting effects. So I'm going to go out of dev mode now. Out of dev mode, and what we're going to want to do, since, you know, we're only 9 days out from the uh, end of the drought anyway... I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to release all of the water out of this so we can modify because the flow of water through this is going to be too great for this to handle without lowering the floodgates. So we're going to help it out. Let some of this out here. I can't do it all at once or else it's going to completely flood everything and that's just a bad time. Nobody, well, I, I don't know, somebody might want that, but I certainly don't. I think the water level right now is not high enough for it really to be a huge concern. But we do want to make sure that we're not being uh, completely stupid with how we uh, with how we do all this. So yeah, again, we're going to drain most of this out. And then, at least on this side, put in one more floodgate here. And one more floodgate here. We'll see how the water flowing in looks. If it gets to the top and it's not overtopping, I might increase the flow coming out of here. And we'll see how that goes. But once this is done, we'll take care of that. In the meantime, we have some uh, work to do over here because all of this will be underwater. And we're going to have to move this guy up here, probably. So we'll have to go ahead and clear up some space here. So I didn't want to put that there. What we want to do is we want to be able to harvest these ruins without having these be flooded. And I think the easiest way to get that accomplished would be to come over here and put in a path, probably for the sake of uh, stuff being pretty much in a straight line, put it right here, which we can do a couple of ways. We have the ability to put in a bridge. Actually, a 3 by might work for... Uh, no, four by. Nope, don't don't build that yet. I can't put the uh, bridge, of course, on this path here. Or I could do could do a steel bridge. Well, these these use steel anyway. The four bys do. So actually, four by uses twenty. Forty five. Yeah, that's a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more metal. It's not like we're hurting for it. We have fourteen hundred metal, so I I think that's okay. But I am gonna go ahead and build. Just these regular little suspension bridges right here. Actually, you know what? Now we're going to uh, we're going to do this the fun way. By the fun way, I mean, quote unquote, the right way. There we go. That kind of matches side to side. And then once that's built, we'll have to come up here and select a path first. We'll come up here and go all the way around like this, and then we'll have to build a platform out this way. And have a way for the beavers to get, or the bots rather, to get down here. Get rid of these guys, move them upstairs. And go from there. Yep, so it's just business as usual. I think this is probably about where we need to go. We're going to have the, uh, uh, I think, yeah, this is probably fine here. Yeah, we'll do just regular old stairs. And pop those guys right there. And they should be able to take care of all of that. And what we'll do up here is we will just go ahead and move our scavenger flags. Well, you can't really move them, but put some other ones up there. These guys, once the stairs are in place, should be able to get at most of this. And if not, then, well, we can always put more down or in other places as we see fit. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of those. And we have all of our scrap picked up for the most part. I can't really see anything else going wrong. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, builder's huts. We already have one up here. Uh, we have a hauling post that is not using regular bots, so that's fixed. We'll get rid of those two. 
And then, of course, logs have to be picked up, so we'll let them take care of that. Again, we have plenty of time. We have eight days left in the drought. I just want to make sure we get this ball rolling before too long. Yes, yeah, so they're waiting on planks. Uh, so this district actually... Oh, we were exporting planks. So guess what? Now we're receiving planks. Let's see. What are we also exporting that we don't need to be exporting? Um, okay, receiving logs. We're supposed to be receiving logs. We don't really have very many. That's fine. Treated planks. Sending scrap metal. Receiving metal blocks. We shouldn't be receiving metal blocks. We should be sending metal blocks. Although, actually, no, we need to build with those. I think that's why I had it set that way, to build with them. So we'll leave that alone. Go ahead and put on some turbo. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, that's rough. I'm going to go ahead and close uh, this floodgate. And we're going to drain this. Is that actually below? Did I uh, did I do a smart for once? Ho, 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 ho. Oh, that's underground. That's kind of cool. Oh, no, it's just actually really low, and it's going to be completely evaporated in just a second. It's actually kind of cool to watch from the uh, exact level that it's occurring at. You can kind of see it creeping down your screen there. All right, so now that that's no longer a problem, we can go ahead and safely get rid of these. And what we'll end up doing here is we're just going to bring this in line with the height of this block right here. Just build all the way around with some levees. I guess, you know, we haven't really done... Oh, there was another... Uh... No, that's a decoration cube. These other, like, big levee pieces, I just haven't used in... At this point, everything else is made out of the regular levees, so it's not like that really matters. But that's fine. Okay, so that is taken care of. None of these flowers are dying, which I guess doesn't really matter because we have a ton of food stored up. I don't think that's going to be very much of an issue. So from here, what we'll end up doing is, I think... Yeah, we're going to need metal floodgates anyway to go this high, so we'll go ahead and uh, unlock the four high. Yeah, because we want this to completely block out in the event, in the unlikely event of an emergency. We can uh, take care of that that way, which uh, right here, yeah. So that actually isn't going to block anything. Huh. Can I build under this? I can't. So we'll have to uh, we'll have to have that come in that way. That's uh, certainly not ideal, but I think it will be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and what kind of uh, we don't need don't need to gather this stuff, but uh, at the same time, I kind of want to. Oh, there's no rule that says the... I already used that one. No rule that says the dog can't play basketball. Uh, there's no rule that says the beavers can't collect stuff they want to collect. So we'll just go right on with that. Plus, we also need to be able to get to this other side. So we'll just have, uh, have that go in like so. Connect to our pathway here. And they'll get along that way. So that will take care of this corner, this point of entrance for... Uh, potential flooding. Uh, the smart thing actually would be for us to go ahead and just dam this up right here, but I don't think I don't think our district center is going to allow us to get that far out. Yeah, I yeah, I don't think we're going to get all the way over there, so we might get into some uh, some shenanigans with, <laughs> with districts here in a little bit. Which is, I guess, another reason why you'd want this to be all made out of... We don't have to have on three times speed. These uh, levees, because it's just logs. Logs are very easy to send to another district. So we're going to, I think, just right here. And this is 
that's actually the widest point. This is three wide here. This is four wide here. Uh, the least amount of building is probably right here. Which we'll just uh, wall that off like so. That's easy. I'm just going to go ahead and paint these in now so when we actually have to go in and build, it's not going to be that big of a deal. I think in the long run, just uh, preventing water from getting in here at all is probably smart. We might end up just building along this side, depending on uh, how everything else is working. Because if this is ever completely full, that means this is already long since overtopped. Which, uh, probably not the best thing to happen. So, we either raise all of these, or we just completely enclose this entire two-thirds of the map with the correct height, which admittedly is pretty easily done without having to do all this stuff, and then we'll just have all the water come through this way. And it won't be a problem. But this is not the most important thing we have going on right now. That would be expanding our, uh, excuse me, expanding our uh, storage release over here. So we'll let that go all the way down. Looks like that is pretty good already. I'm actually going to go ahead and expand this considerably more than uh, than we probably need in all honesty, but it's better to have more capacity and not need it than to need capacity and not have it. Whether that's in terms of storage or drainage or whatever. In real life too, they overbuild uh, dams and spillways and all that stuff pretty commonly. I am not a, uh, I am not a, what's the word, hydraulic engineer? I don't know what the actual term is for it. But, uh, the smart people who do water math all day are a lot better at this than I am. All right, let's see the five tall. Yeah, that's what we want. Those guys in like that. And we are not quite doubling the potential throughput because this one is one level deeper. But that is a massive improvement. And that might allow us to actually get these a little bit stronger than they currently are. And we do want most of the water coming through this way because this is the best way to get back to that side of the map. And it's not just this. Oh, while we're here. Lag. While we're here. Since we're here. Let's uh, go ahead and finish the job. And get those things installed and we'll blow all this up. That's going to be fantastic fun. Like this, Like this really needs more capacity, right? It doesn't. Spoiler alert. But right here, we have not done anything to fix this up at all. So what we're going to want to do instead is to take this out right here. I'm actually going to take all uh, five of these segments out. And we're going to replace these. Well, we could just leave this open be perfectly honest, but I do want to replace these with the uh, metal floodgates. I think three high. That's too high. Well, that's four high. It is T-O-O -O high, not T-W-O high. We put these in here. They're going to stick up. It's going to be a little ugly, but we don't need to get over here, so I'm not really, uh, not really going to lose sleep over that, but we also uh, oh, there's a little, uh, there's a little release thing over there. Yeah, we'll just do that that way. And we have to have a uh, path to build with. So if we do that, they should be able to get to that okay. That will make this area a lot better. It's already set to 2.5. Yeah, that's fine. That's going to make that flow a lot better because all the monstrous flow coming out of this thing. It's going to be a little little tough to handle. So that's going to be good there. We already have right here this set about as well as it can go, honestly. And that is the same height to spill over that. It's just slightly below the emergency completely out of the map spillway right here. I 
don't think we're ever going to use this, but I did want to put it there just in case we don't completely flood everything. But the water will continue through here and through here onto this other side of the map. And also this one right here. We are in very good shape for emergency water uh, control release, whatever, into this whole section. This is already dammed off here. Uh, this is, it's going to take a while for that to get built. But again, this is not the most important one that needs to get built first. This one is probably the most important one. Okay, they are working on that. That's good to see. Oh yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't ever show it in a video, but we have four of these now. Wow, it's really cool. It is completely unnecessary to have four of them. But we do. So, uh, I guess we can cherish that. Now, they're working on this. Again, that was what I was most concerned about. So that is good to see that. They're not going to be able to build this until we build another district, but I am going to go ahead and put all of the stuff in place just to uh, take care of that. Now, the shortest uh, possible distance between two high points is probably, in terms of the amount of things built, It might actually be right here. So we'll just, uh, we'll just do one of these. Is it ugly? Yes. Is it going to work? Also, yes. So that's fine. Again, we're not going to put any spillways over here because we don't want water spilling into here because then it's going to flood everything else. The idea is to keep the main inhabited area of the map. Oh, those trees are going to die in 4.9 days let's not chance it let's just um it's not high enough to flood anything let's just release some water out of here and uh get these guys good to go it is a good thing that we deepened this that was very smart to uh get that done so we can appreciate that we are um pretty much full on water that's uh exciting to see that means that we're not going to have to pump anymore and all of it can go into the map. Now, what is going on here? We're waiting on treated planks. That was another thing a lot of you said is that a lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff over here is just completely overkill and unnecessary. Uh, first of all, thank you. Yes, I agree. It is completely overkill, but that is what we're kind of trying to do here. So to that end... I'm going to add some more treated plank things. Wow, we actually uh, where are the where are the twelve bots that don't have anything to do? Are you in? No, not this district. Uh, oh, we have to rename these districts too because we voted several polls. In fact, we'll do that in a minute here. Um. Oh, it's these guys because they don't need to uh they don't need to be running all over the place here well 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 how the turn tables i should also uh have fixed that i don't know why that was back to regular beavers i'm gonna decrease that to 30 and they're still not gonna go anywhere so i guess i'll just manually uh send these guys back over to do all of that uh, once this is complete, we are going to move the district center up here. We'll be voting on the name for this one. I believe it's kind of hard to keep this straight when I'm on such a time difference to when these actually go up. Probably Sunday? Probably Sunday voting on this one to uh, put in the Tuesday video. I digress. That's uh, it's gonna take a while to uh, get there. Oh, they can't. <laughs> duh, they can't build this because. <laughs> oh, here I am thinking that I was actually doing something smart. All right, yeah, of course they can't build that because they can't get to the platform that's underneath it. Duh. All right, build that first. That will solve most of those problems. And they can't do anything else here because they can't reach. Oh, uh, I should have built this. 
Should have built this closer. And they're not picking this up either. Oh, because there's no storage. All right. Um, so we have to... That's tall. That's four tall? Yeah, I have to build... I think... I think they'll let me build diagonally if I do that. So we'll try... Uh... Oh, okay. So maybe that won't work. It's worth a shot. We'll let them figure that out for a while. We have plenty of time to get that figured out. How are we looking over here? Okay, we're still collecting everything. Oh, because they're still building this. Come on, let me let me let me click. Seriously? Alright, that's fine. We should be uh, importing more trees, except none of these are none of these are grown right now. We're waiting for these all to uh, to come up. So actually, this district that we have been doing absolutely nothing with. Let's um. Well, I don't. Oh no, we're sending logs. They're just not uh. They're just not really. Not, what, what do you guys do all day? Besides not cut logs, apparently. Okay, you're cutting logs. Is there even another lumberjack flag in this whole district? Okay, there's one here. So two of you guys. Two are cutting logs. Three. Three are cutting logs. Okay. Well, you can take your sweet time. Do what you need to do. That's okay. Okay. You have plenty of food, you have plenty of water, so we'll just we'll just leave you be. You do what you want. That's okay. They are technically doing this also. That's working out fine. I think Okay, now hold up. Did I Did I really? Alright, so this is three. That's another Three, or is this a block and a half? Two blocks. I think oh, it's hard to tell. That might actually just oh, that's kind of uh, trippy. This might just be one, but if we come across here, okay, now that's the same height. Here I was thinking I might have accidentally built this entire thing completely too high. Well, it would be a. Uh, would be pretty on brand, honestly. Okay. I know this district here is not going to reach all the way. Where's the... Well, I guess I don't have to click on anything else. I just need to know how far out... The, yeah, they can't reach this. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't reach it. So this, we're going to have to put... <laughs> we're going to have to put a district up here. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is... Uh, yeah, that's going to be annoying. So to prepare for that, I think what we want to do is put in some storage. Don't worry, this will pretty much all go away by the time we're done building all this. But we are going to go ahead and put some storage since this is accessible presently. We'll go ahead and have logs fill this entire thing, which for all of this will be... 500 and something math is really hard 540 until I uh, do something else which to build these two things right here uh, it might not quite be enough what we actually need to focus on is I forgot this thing was here we just have to put in Right there, and that will be all good to go. All right, that's nice. Uh, okay, so this is no longer going to fill from over here. So this actually... Did we take the stairs out? I think we did. More importantly, can I... I don't know why I went all the way over there to click. I need to be able to get my beavers down here to build this. And I may or may not have built on top of the stairs. Well, 
Um, yeah. Not my, uh, not my brightest moment. We'll, uh, we'll just say that. Fortunately, right here, I have the ability to, uh, I guess, just kind of build over this. Yeah, because the ladder's attached there. That's fine. I'll just uh, do one of these numbers. And then I think... I think I can just do uh, ladders here. Yeah. So all we're going to do here, I believe, is... Yeah, we'll just have to raise these up and put another level on top of those. And that should uh, help save this part of the map. And that will be level with the top right there. Oh, I don't even need to go down. What am I doing? No, we can just build straight across. 45 logs. Yeah, pick those things up, bucko. Um, yeah, that's what we want. Just like that. Nice and easy. Well, I am going to, uh... I think they should be able to... They might not be able to build that. So I will, uh... I guess I could just pause these two instead of deprioritizing them. We just have to remember to actually build them, because then they can just go up here and build that up. Okay, well, that problem's going to solve itself. That's easy. So then we can just follow that around. That's going to be the same height here until all the way over here. So all we have to do here is just raise this up a level. Should be super easy. Yeah, that's that's what we want. They should be able to uh, do that. I'm going to go ahead and put in more stairs here. I think this should still be in range. Oh yeah, we're we're golden. Golden. Again, pause that guy so beavers and bots can both be kind of stupid. And they'll have to... I guess I could get away with doing... Uh, well, this is just completely unnecessary, first of all, to, uh... To do this this way. But, that's what we do here. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention that we've done is we've renamed these districts here. This one, the winning choice was Lumberyard, although there's not currently any lumber being produced here, so we might have to add a couple of those. And then our Bio Beaver district here is called Maple Grove. That was the winner of that poll. So we'll, uh, we'll be crowning, again, the winner of this one, District 23, in tomorrow's episode, based on the results right now that you guys I already told you guys you could vote for. So, in the meantime, this is all, uh, well, it's not all done, but it is prepared. There is nowhere, any anywhere else on this side of the map where water can get through, except for this area right here. Oh, they are uh, excavating at the dirt excavator. That's exciting. So what we need to do here is we have to kind of, I guess, encapsulate this entire area, which uh, I don't really want to start until we have this taken care of. But what we're going to end up doing is building another, uh, probably actually right here. Just right like that. We'll let them build all of that and then we'll come across and, uh, well, I guess I don't even really have to wait. Just raise this whole area. One block should be enough to keep up with all that. And we'll just have this go all the way across like so. Let's fence that guy in. Just 
just like so. Just kind of make a little box around it. It doesn't really have to be that way. That's just the way that we uh, currently have it set up. So that's going to just sit like that. And we'll have that set like that. So once the rest of that is all built up, they'll be able to finish everything. I think, I think I'll need to put some stairs in. Rotate that. Yeah, stairs go right here. I, I don't think this is going to be that big of an issue. I'll just put a pathway going all the way around because why not? So that will eventually get taken care of. Won't be any problems there. Except now what's going to happen is these guys, this will no longer be able to overflow, which is, uh, I guess, kind of a problem. But what we'll end up doing for that is having... Uh, I don't know. I got to find a solution to that because this is all one level one level lower than all of this and when this is all done this will be uh this will be all filled up ready to go. I guess I guess we'll end up just deleting uh this little bit right here and this can still No, no, we can just delete this whole thing entirely. Cuz that's that's not going to matter. Cuz I was going to uh was thinking about putting in a thing here, and then this would just go, yeah, 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 that, yeah, that'll work. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. I'm not, uh, I'm not super worried. Worst comes to worst, we could, we haven't done anything with these yet, these deep mechanical water pumps. We could put one of these guys here to just kind of, I guess, bail it out if it ever gets super bad. I really don't think it's going to be a problem because of how the water is going to end up wanting to go over there anyway. Did they finish this? They sure did. So why is this not... Uh... There we go. We're going to have that set all the way down. Are those not going to go all the way down because they're synced? No, they are. Okay. Uh Oh, okay. Oh, that's weird that it does that. I, I kind of wish... I guess I have to click on this one to get him to go all the way down. All right, that's fine. Wee, wee, wee. I wonder if anyone's ever tried to make a, like a moving wave animation with these things. That would be so labor-intensive to figure out. Okay, we're, we're, done. we're done playing with that. We have 0.4 days left until all of the water comes back. And we'll see if we have to increase the power. Uh, just as a reminder, we moved this one to two, this one to two, and these two to three. So we have added plus four water I generation, appearance, power, whatever the game wants to call it. So we can expect this to be a little bit faster. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just set that to maximum height because we already have water here and they're pumping and that's fine. I don't want it to be a uh, don't want it to be a catastrophe. Yeah, that is that's A-OK -okay right there. They got that built. This will be in the process of being built as soon as we have really? Oh, okay. Haulers are not bringing stuff here because we're not uh, we're not hauling. Speaking of, we can actually detonate all these fun things here, and we can build our pathway, and then go ahead and pause the game. District twenty eight is going to become not District twenty eight, but I will rename it to District twenty eight. Delete that thing. Put in. I believe I can... I might actually want to put this down here. I wonder... Ooh, yeah, if I move it down here, they might be able to reach those construction sites. But I have to make sure they can still get to the depot. Okay, this might actually work. That might actually work, except now I've deleted... I've Now I've deleted the district center. Oh, uh, I, guess, I guess I have to put it here. That's uh, that's fine. I think it's still a net gain of uh, 
of space, maybe. Okay, so this allows me to get on that. It was right here before. Um, uh, maybe. I just, oh, I wish I could put it right here. It's just, uh, it's just not going to work. But we'll put that there. District 30. Why did that go to 30? Okay. Uh, it's District 28. Not 29. 28. So hopefully now we can uh, just get everybody back here. It should still be the same 30. Yeah. All right. So uh, since we have all of the resources we do, why don't we go ahead and just build straight out. How many planks? 700. How, why do we have 740 planks? Okay. We, we, we don't need that. We definitely don't need that. All right, so these are going to be... I didn't want... Get out of here. Click and drag has failed me once again. All right, drought's over. So we'll be on the lookout for major flooding. Is that going to be the same... Oh, that is going to be the same height. Okay, so why am I, why am I doing this? No. No, we're going to stack stuff correctly like we're supposed to. We're going to be smart about this. Is this unnecessary? Yes. But that is just how things go here. That's how we roll. All right, so that will get us to there, which should, if I click, come on. I believe this will be plenty of space to build all of this. I should have thought of this a long time ago. Honestly. Now, if that's enough to get across there, I'm going to be very pleased with myself. I guess we didn't really need these, but it is fun to blow stuff up. Okay, and then this last one here. I think we have... Oh, it's actually perfectly... Uh, Perfectly distributed. All right. Because I think we might need some more builders. Because we just have these four. So I'm going to go ahead and put in. Just for right now. Two of those guys. Go ahead and get those built. And then I'm going to decrease. Actually, first. Increase that. I'm going to decrease the, come on, the haulers down to, say, four. And they're going to come out of working for the engines anyway, because those are uh, not super important jobs. We're actually not even mining because the scrap metal can't really go anywhere. So I guess we need to build more smelters. Man. All right, so that's looking good. We'll let them, uh, let them take care of all of that. Uh, okay, we can unpause those two. That's looking good. Our bots here are too far from it. Oh, okay, they haven't built. They haven't built this one yet. Do we have planks in this district? Well, I hope so. We we have we have only planks in this district. Oh man. Okay, so water is well. Oh, we forgot to blow this up. Let's do that real quick. At night. With lag. Well, that was fun and completely unnecessary. All right, so now we got water coming in a little faster here. Actually faster that can flow out of these four, which is interesting so this should i'm just going to go ahead and completely lower this down so we don't flood the entire rest of the map because i really want to get water in here but not immediately because we do <laughs> look at look how ridiculous this is we want to get that done as fast as possible and good there we're already already almost i don't know math is hard 40 
late 40s in terms of minutes. My recording counter is off from the actual gameplay time because this map takes so long to load. Is this still out of... Yes, because they haven't built... Haven't built the stairs. Are you going to build the stairs, maybe? Want to do that one? How many builders do I have? Oh, these are still set... Why? Hold on. Lumberyard. Why do you have regular beavers? Goodbye. You you should not be here. You absolutely should not be here. Stop it. Get some help. Okay. Let's uh have some builder beavers cuz that's uh it's not working. That should make that go a little faster. Hopefully. Alright, so how are we looking here? Oh, we are filling up over here. Okay, that's good to see. Stuff is looking nice. Should be spilling over here for too long. We're on day two. The water reserves are almost completely full. Can we actually see this rising in real time? Not quite. Hasn't, uh, hasn't quite reached that far yet. But it, it is flowing through here. It is definitely, definitely moving. And it's still, the water level is still kind of rising in here. Even with having an eight wide little uh, thing here. So that's looking pretty good. What other fun well-being stuff can we do here in Maple Grove? So I don't think they really have... Oh, they need stuff they don't have for the frog statue. So unfortunately, the frog statue is not going to get built here. But we can build them a shrine so they can pay their respects to the almighty amphibious overlords. Do they already have one over here? That's a that's a grindstone. Okay. Um, shower. It's not really a uh, not really a good place to put one of those, except maybe uh, maybe right here. We just put a couple of those in. That's fine. That'll give them something to do. Are these just logs and planks? Do they have planks? They have two hundred planks for some reason. Okay, that's uh, fine. Rooftop terrace. Oh yeah, we can make we can give one of those. We have the technology. We can just uh, put a pathway on top of uh, right there, and then give them a campfire. And in front of the campfire, we can put maybe are the shrubs going to die if I put them out here like this? I don't think so. Well, that ought to help at least. Um, ooh. I'm not going to be able to put a neat looking roof on this because of how the uh, how the numbers are going to end up working. 3x2 or 2x3? I, I mean, if I did that, it wouldn't uh, wouldn't fit on the back side. So that's not much fun. This uh, also works, I guess. Maybe. Maybe we just don't worry about it. Um, that needs metal. Anyway, this should be a little bit of a nice boost for him. Okay, that's looking... Yeah, yeah, this is actually among the fullest this has ever been coming up this tall. I don't think it's... Well, it can't get to the bottom of the rails here. That is not scientifically possible. Oh, these haven't been... Uh, these haven't been set for beaver bots. All right, so let's check our... We have 12 unemployed bots. Where are... Did they already finish this? Wow, good for them. Now I can uh, fix this by putting an actual uh, levy here. So now this side is... Okay. Undo that. This side is 
pretty much good to go. Now it's just going to be a mad race against time to get, well, I mean, this isn't, this isn't going to fill up. Let's be perfectly honest. All right. Um, I'm satisfied with the amount of outflow this has, and I think we can actually increase based on this. Yeah, we're not going to, we're not going to overtop anything. So let's open up our commands again. We got strength three. We're going to turn this one into three and then this one. Come on. I mean, you're not going to let me, do I don't want 32. Thank you. Two more up one level. You know what? We got four at three, four at two. Previously, we had six at two and two at one. So that's uh, simple arithmetic that for some reason I cannot do off the top of my head. Number bigger, bigger, better. That's uh, my caveman brain for you. I wonder, do I want to raise all of these to three? Because when when I was testing, I didn't, I didn't expand either of these um, floodgates here. I didn't think it was going to be that big of an issue. So how fast is the water rising here? Is my question. Oh, not at all. Okay. Yeah, when I was testing with three or four of these at strength level eight, which is the highest it's going to let you go, it was a lot. It was it was very. Very fast, so I'll tell you what. We're going not 32, thank you, three. We'll just say all of these are now strength level three because, well, quite frankly, we can uh, just mess with this and be fine. Okay, so we also have uh, these things that I haven't messed with that we could theoretically do something with. Not the evaporation speed Max, what? Oh, we can change that from eight. Can actually be higher. Oh no! Oh no! No no! <laughs> you want my computer to catch on fire? We can turn this up to a hundred and see how fast my uh my graphics card tries to. Well, you know. <laughs> so we'll uh we'll definitely be leaving that alone. Is this increasing at any appreciable speed? not fast enough to be uh, be a concern. It is day three of the drought, after all. So this is about to be high enough to uh, overcrust in a little bit. Everything that we need is off of here. They are very, very... I'm going to get out of dev mode. They're very, very slowly coming over here to build, because why? What are they... Uh, Okay, there we go. That's okay. We're looking good over here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this fill back up. I had forgotten to <laughs> turn that back on. Yeah, see, the, the water level here is still actually the same, which is honestly pretty impressive with the amount of water flow we've added. This over here is getting very close. To cresting, what do we want to? I guess we could just watch right here, see this come, uh, come through in real time, maybe, if it's not going to be super slow, which I guess it is now. How are we? Uh, how are we looking here? Going any faster? No. Same as always, day four. It would be really nice if we could get a lot of water through here. I'm actually tempted. I know this might be a... might be a, a what is it, a monkey's paw situation. But I kind of want to turn a couple of these up all the way and open all of the floodgates to path down here to see just how much more we can build. But these guys, these guys got to get it going on here because this is going to flood pretty quick. Unless we can get all this, uh, all this taken care of. Well, it's only day four. We have at minimum another six days before stuff goes south. And by south, I mean goes into a drought again. So we will certainly see just how fast they're able to, uh, to build all this stuff. I am pretty sure 
they should be able to build all this off of the uh, off of the same amount of distance here. Train wise, we should still also be doing okay. How many metal blocks do we have in this district? Two hundred and six. Um, okay, we can send those again. That's fine. Is this still set to receive? Yes. I'm going to take this off at three times speed because it is kind of obnoxious at eight frames per second versus 21. We also have... Oh, we have 14. We have 14 bots that aren't employed. Okay. Um, terraformers are working. Dirt excavators are working. Our storage of dirt is dirting. So I think what we need is to build a couple more of these labor builders. Labor builders. Yes, that's uh, that's what they're called now. And we'll send all of our extra bots over here. Uh, I forgot to count. So we're going to find out how many are completely unemployed here. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. Cuz I want I got to get this got to get this built. So what else over here can we uh can we improve on? It seems like all of our food stuff is mostly solved. Grilled spatter dock has finally recovered after we did all of that stuff. Oh, look how tall this is here. Oh, I missed I wanted to see this for the first time and I missed it. Oh well. That's the way it goes. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Uh we're probably gonna need more uh yeah, we're going to need more of this stuff. I can fit one more of these. I guess I could just build another another engine. Maybe over here to recharge these uh these dudes. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, and then we'll uh I guess theoretically we want uh Yeah. I'm not the greatest at planning these things. Well, that's fine. Alright, you can go and do something here. Let's get that built, and then that built, and then that built, and then we can put in more charging stations. Hopefully they can uh, get that done. I think it shouldn't be a problem because, well, we're not going to run out of metal blocks because we're constantly making them. We can't possibly export them so fast that they're going to run out. So that's fine. Hopefully. Okay. I'll just, I'll just have to pause that because they clearly don't respect the construction hierarchy. Oh boy. Okay, look how fast we got water coming in here from uh, this side. Okay. Alright. So that also means that we are... Okay, we're not going to overflow this. Okay, that's looking... Uh, that's looking good. Looking good. I'm going to very cautiously... Turn that to 2.5. Although I actually don't... Uh, oh, that's never going to get high enough to actually do that. Because I have this open. It won't get high enough to do that until the uh, entirety of this... <laughs> this other side of the map is flooded. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, this is what we wanted. So, can't really be uh, very upset about that. Okay, prioritized by haulers. There we go. Get some uh, get some logs in there. Build this thing. I guess we can just wait for them to uh, actually finish this one. Maybe if they're actually bringing anything. Really, you're gonna, you're gonna wait now after all this time. They really exported all the metal. Okay. 
you know what? This is why we can't have nice things. Because you guys keep exporting everything. <sighs> Come on, day five. The water's coming and you're not going to be ready. And it's going to be you who's sorry. Alright, I'm going to, yeah, release some of that to come out here. That's going to be fine. Yeah, this is looking alright. I think. We definitely want to keep the flow going here, so I don't want to close this at all. And yeah, now we're just waiting. All right. How fast can they build all of this? The world may never know. Except they definitely can because we have literally everything we need. Why we don't have workers in this district? Why? I know why. Because you guys should be building instead of gathering scrap metal when we are already able to produce scrap metal. So that is now a lower priority job. Get to work moving some stuff around and building us whatever you want to call this. All right, so we're still okay. We're still fine. So long as it doesn't get any higher than right here, because then it's going to flood this entire thing, which is admittedly going to make for some exciting YouTube content, but not the best thing for our, uh, our beavers and our bots here. I honestly thought they'd be done with this a lot faster. So uh, I guess that was my mistake for assuming. You know what happens when you assume. That being said, I'm still... Very interested to see the rest of uh, this here. So, potentially against my better judgment, let's try being a little reckless. Okay, so four. Yeah, these can be four too. That's fine. Now, I think this is going to end up being about as much uh, power as I had when I had a couple of these at 8 and the rest unchanged. So that should be... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's very slowly creeping up in this part. Without a... Oh, yeah. We're cooking with gas now, folks. Now, all of you, you beaver bot builders... You're going to have to be quicker than that. I can promise you that. Now, don't tell me you guys are working in here. No? Okay. Okay, we'll get rid of some of our haulers here. We don't really need them that much anyhow. Actually, instead of doing that, let's just lower the priority on the mine. Because, well, it's full. Get these guys coming in here to build. Now, I know you're not sitting here doing nothing when there's plenty. Plenty to be building. There is truly no excuse. So, to that end. Take myself out of dev mode. Let's come in and put. Don't freeze on me. Let's put some ladders in. Because then I can have some of them come down here and start building on the ground level. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll just do it that way. Come on down and build all this stuff. Well, we've got another three and a half days, so this should be at least somewhat interesting. Yeah, hey, see here they come. Now they can just go down and around and do the whole thing. Actually, if I was smart, I I still can, but put in one of these things and then they can uh they can build from above and below at the same time. All 
All right, but we're not going to watch that happen for the next 10, 15 minutes, because that's... Oh, my. Well, folks. How? I know how this happened. I know exactly how this happened. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh, this is going to be interesting because now I can't really. Oh, no, I definitely can. Can definitely let all of this out at once. Please stop overflowing. Please stop overflowing. Please stop flooding my entire map. All right. That didn't work. Why is this? It's not over top. I guess that's just left over from here because it can't. Uh, yeah, it can't get over that. So it really should just kind of come down to uh, water coming out of this side to. Uh, Make everything better here. All right, let's uh, put this up to say two. Okay. Mm all right. So, crisis management time again because I, uh, as the kids say, done goofed. I need to be able to pump out water, which is going to require. Is this too high or one high? One high. Gonna have to build a uh, water pump. Flip it around. Uh, that's not ideal. That's super not ideal. Three high here. Yeah. That's actually not... Probably not the best. The best thing probably would be to use this, but I uh, I kind of can't because it requires 700 horsepower and all of these things that I don't have. So instead, what we get to do is build this thing to suck water out of this half of the map. Oh, come on. How did I do that? How in the world did I do that to myself? All right, that's uh, not going to lie. That's really frustrating. And I can't put anything there because that's in the way. We got so excited about water that we fell victim to water. Almost like a Jurassic Park kind of situation. Are these guys uh, actually doing anything? I guess, because they built this. Well, it's not going to flood anymore over here because it kind of can't. It just is all flooded and is definitely going to die. Good thing we have 70 to 100 Lunchables. That's, uh, that's all I can really say about that. Okay, here come the builders to take care of all of that nonsense of mess here. Okay, that's got to be... Come on. Let me select stuff. All right, well, that'll keep these guys busy for at least a little while. These are all all dead. Ah, what a... What an annoying mistake to make. Meanwhile, these guys are still nowhere near being finished with this. Oh, the pain. Oh, look at these guys. Here they come. All right. So you guys are going down. Well, okay. All right. All the all the trash I was talking about, the beaver bot builders. No, they heard me. They heard me talking smack. Now they're, now they're pulling up. There we go. Yeah, get that done. Good job. You're doing your best, and that's what matters. We're all winners here. All right. Now the fun part is going to be actually putting this all the way back up so this whole thing can fill up which hopefully doesn't take that long 
or hopefully does kind of take that long. We have enough we have enough headroom to uh to fill up all this, right? Or at least suck the juice out of here. All of this is flooded. Oh, what a stupid mistake. It is what it is. These guys can now uh have a little bit more time to finish this before they come across over here to uh do a little bit more of that. I actually think the way this is set up, I can actually have these uh, intersect here. I'm not sure. First, they have to actually, you know, get over here. Well, they're doing their best. They're trying very, very hard, and we're very proud of them. 11 unfilled jobs. That would be these guys and then the stuff in the hauling post and the mine, so that's okay. It's going to take a long time to suck all this out. So these need to be bots. Those definitely need to be bots. They definitely need to be going all night. That is fine. We can have more water coming out of here to fill this up, actually. So let's... um. How high is that going to be? Three? Yeah. This is already uh, more or less max height. This is already down, so I think that should be okay. I want to get this all filled up as well. This is actually uh, districts out of water. Without we were uh, receiving water, are we not sending any? No, we're supposed to be sending water. I guess the trains are... The trains are stuck. Why? Uh, did I have my track network have a, uh, a problem here? Like, what's, uh, this is supposed to be a separate section here. So I don't know what the, uh, what the deal is with that. So we have a problem here. Now these guys are here. Is that all it was? It was just two trains got kind of stuck? Why? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't unstick a, a dead iron bot. Good news is there is... St okay, there's not that much water left. There's nothing for me to pump from here either. That's not ideal. Although we should have water coming through. Oh, it's not high enough yet. Not high enough. Well, we've made uh, substantial progress on this, I can tell you that. Let's uh, give them a little bit of help by double tracking down. Yeah, there they go. It's our army of builders going to grab all their materials. Look at them go. Look at them go. Turbo speed. Turbo mode. Now come on down here. Double track this thing. All right, you're going high. You're going high or you're going low? Going high, going low, going high. All right. Yeah, let's all come downstairs. There you go. Come on down. Oh, yeah, and you can start building the... Oh, yeah. Okay, you, you guys are so smart. You, you are super intelligent. I'm very proud of you. You have done well. Meanwhile, this can't get any higher because it's impossible since there's no water coming in. But uh, this is getting higher, and that's a little... Uh, little scary just like that lag when auto saving never gonna un uh, unlearn that from Ostrov crashing on me so much because I have too much stuff going on in that game this is actually kind of fun to watch them do uh, from above and below at the same time they're already putting stuff here that's going well I think actually they could be across this in the next uh 30 seconds or a minute or so. Oh, this guy's tired. Okay. Okay, we can actually... Uh, we can actually put one of these right about too far from a district and not be reached by... Okay. Well, when they get across here, 
they can build this. That should be okay. How about uh, 34 metal? Yeah, we've got metal. Yeah, this is all still yellow, actually. So that is very good news. Now we're out of water because, of course, we are. We're still not receiving any water. Why is that? Because they should be. Now, is that one of those things where to get water, it has to be in a, uh, a tank? So let's actually... Uh, Okay, well, the, the tank wagon's carrying a log, so I guess we just kind of disproved ourselves. I didn't think that had been coded that way. But, yeah, now it's carrying nothing. Why? It shouldn't be carrying nothing. It should be carrying something. So why are we not... Why are we not receiving water? That is a very good question. We're certainly sending it. But nobody is picking it up. What a problem. Because now we don't have power anywhere. That is a... Uh, big problem. Big problem. So what gives? So this has to spill over here. But it's not high enough yet. Alright. Against my better judgment. I'm going to increase the flow even more as this gets higher and higher and higher on day 8 because it is about to overtop of that side as well this still okay no we're good now yeah we got this built look at them go look at them go we're building both sides slowly but they get that boost from the control towers that's fun to see I think this should be, uh, hopefully, built fast enough where it's not going to be, ding, ding, not going to be a problem. We did finally dry up all of this. I guess we can, uh, we can pause those two things and have them for emergency pumping only. Now all the, oh, uh, we're, we're toasted. Come on, man. I'm, I'm letting all this water out, and it's still not coming over here? Like, not nearly enough to flood enough to get anything else going? Come on. Because this isn't that big of a... Uh, ow. Raise your hand if you're dumb. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't open the floodgate. Okay. All right, well, this should now... Be a little faster. Now all of our all of our bots are very quickly becoming fatigued. But we should have water in here, which means we should be able to restart the geothermal turbine, which means we should be able to charge the bots, which means we should be able to continue operating the geothermal turbine. Very, very slowly. Alright, progress, progress. That's looking uh, better, if slow. I do hope I can get this done and have more stuff put in there before, uh, before we get too long. Yeah, okay, we're spilling on both sides again now. That's fine. All right, now the water just needs to come over here. And get sipped up here. All right, you have water. Come work here. You too. All right, so now this should immediately go right into the thermal, geothermal turbine. Oh, they're not going to be able to supply it fast enough, are they? Well, it's a start. Now somebody can charge. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> this this is this is very sad. Cause I, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not sending me water. Do I, should I just delete the water and add it back in? I'm like I, I really 
I really and truly at this point do not understand why this is uh, not working. Bug report. Send water. So, like, this is... Should be... By all accounts, should be perfectly fine. This just can't, uh... It can't get full enough. Why is... Builder set set to... Uh, come on. I guess we just need a... I don't want to build a distribution post again. What a pain. What a pain. Just bring me my water. It really should not... Should not be an ordeal. Should be super simple. In fact, this district only has 5,100 logs. Like, what's going on with that? What is going on with that? And we got up to a whole six out of 360 water there. Okay, we're going to leave that alone for right now. Because so this uh, water levels here are very slowly rising. Oh, there's our drought warning. So it's going to be start of uh, day 13. I don't know if we can get these finished by then. But something tells me it's not going to matter. Because we have so much... Uh, Oh, we have so much else going on here. Alright, I'm going to lower this to 5. Increase our flow of water just a little bit coming out of here. Actually, these guys can entirely just let a bunch out. That one, at least. That'll be fine. We're going to be... Uh, eh, we might be alright. This one is close to being done enough. We shouldn't have any, you should not have anybody sitting here. I guess that's because this is, uh, there can only be so many beavers at one point in time working on it. So maybe we just have to, uh, give them a little bit of help here. I guess that's what's uh, required multiple points of access. As weird as that is. Alright, so we'll just do the same thing over here. Why not? Doesn't seem to be uh, doing any harm. Stairs. Because if I know for a fact this is going to be done, then I can definitely release a lot more water coming out of here. Look how fast this is going through here. It's getting like little uh, little vortexes. I know that's just a lighting effect, but that it's kind of freaky looking. Oh, look how look how full this is. All right. We can go down to 3 and tidal wave. <laughs> See, the, this is this is what started to happen with me in the uh thing with the 8 power. That's already... Oh, that's already at two. Okay, that is uh, just a little bit of a problem. Yeah, because then you start to get these weird waves when there's that much water, that much speed. Starts to, uh, starts to run into some issues. All right, so we're... Uh, we're pumping. So I guess now we can just have more of these guys here start supplying stuff. I think I think we might end up being okay so long as we can keep that running. All right, these aren't overflowing. This is deep enough. That's looking okay. This is... Mm, we'll go ahead and just put that all the way up. Can they even... Okay, they did reach that. Nobody's taken the uh, lower path, but they are coming over here. Which is fun and exciting. There we go. Come on down. 
Build up, build down, build all around. You guys coming over here to do that is nice. Alright, so... This is already so high. This is definitely approaching danger zone territory if it gets much higher than that. We're going to have a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to close... Oh, look at that tidal wave. <laughs> oh, that is uh, just slightly terrifying there. All right, come on and finish this. I want to let the water back up, but I can't if you guys are going to be turkeys about it. Work faster. Oh, we have two days of drought left. Or not drought, temperate climate. I never know what to call that. So this should be, yeah, we're still super, supercharged water speed. This might actually be too much water speed. I might have to turn these back down. Because look how, look how close to the, close, wow, Minnesota. Uh, look how close we are to uh, the top here. Oh, it's going up. That's bad news. That's that's bad news. If I lower this much more, we might have another tidal wave. If I do it on single time speed, is that going to be any better? Oh, look look at that. It's like oh, it reminds me of the city's skylines water physics. When you put a you put in or remove a dam, it gets kind of crazy. But we definitely want more water coming out, not less. So that's okay. Okay, that's that's working. That's working. We just need this to uh to go a little bit faster and it should once they have this all finished but I'm not really worried about this right now so much as I am these this this little bit of blocks here because look how high look how high this is if this gets any higher than this lip then this is going to flood again and I'm going to be beside myself I'm not, not even going to not even going to lie to you so that's uh not ideal. Have we figured out how to do this yet? Okay, so it is very slowly, very slowly getting filled back up. I don't, I still don't know why this isn't receiving water. It should, it should be because it's, yeah, sending 200 out of 200 of trains, just not picking it up. It still says 20 items to move that has nothing on it. Is that one of the things where I just have to get rid of the train and make a new one? Is that what it's going to be? I genuinely don't... Oh, we don't even have enough scrap metal to... Okay, I have enough scrap to build a train here. Alright, so you are completely empty. You have uh, you have betrayed your country. Goodbye. Are you empty? You are empty. Goodbye. Age 356. Are you empty? No, you are carrying logs. Good job. Are you carrying logs in your tanker car? Yes, you are. Yep, so you are good to go. Now the question will be, does this one fill up after it drops off logs? All right, carrying nothing. You left with nothing. Why are you the way that you are? All right, well, I deleted a train, so I guess I should probably build another one. So there we go. Hopefully that one can uh, pick up something. All right, we're still looking okay here. I need, I need these to get built. Please, thank you. Do not, do not overcrust this or I will be very upset. All right, finish finish that and then be done with it. I don't, I don't necessarily want that one done first, but I guess they're just going to do it anyway. Nothing that really matters. All right, get uh get get these pieces done, please. Thank you. Just bring all of your dudes. I didn't click the double arrows on this one. Bring all of your dudes and finish this post haste. Good news is this is pretty much all that's left to build. So they can be a little fast about it. All right. I think now we're probably fine because this is, well, not completely stupid. 
All right, where is this water going if it's not uh, not going anywhere else? It shouldn't be evaporating or anything. Is this still open on this side? No, I closed that. Okay. Um, okay, well, this actually seems to be going pretty well over here. We just need... Uh, Another giant tidal wave, is that going to flood on this side? Sure hope not. I just need all the water to come out here very fastly. Alright, I am now comfortable opening this completely for the last little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 let's go. Just let all of that water out. Flood the train station. We don't need it. Please don't flood over here. Please. Please. I'm asking nicely. You didn't listen. You didn't listen, and that's what happens. All right. I cannot allow this to get any worse. But I'm afraid now that it might actually. Oh, look at the look at the size of that beaver tsunami. Don't go over the side, don't go over the side, don't go over the side. You didn't listen to me either. Man. Some people, I swear. Alright. Now this is gonna completely just be obnoxious. Okay, this one, this one piece right here is the most important building project in the history of this entire playthrough. Please, I am begging you, finish this immediately. Please. Hello? Don't tell me it's just one of you guys coming over here. Oh, I know you're not sitting here not doing this. Oh, uh, because I don't have... <laughs> I don't have a thing here. And, oh, now you can all come do it. All right. I see what it is. All right, is this done yet? Good. Very good. Yeah, let all of this water in immediately. Yeah, I, I told you the water physics were nuts over here. Like, look at look at this mess. Like, what in the what in the world is this? Like, what what like what is happening here? Because this water is not a. It's like gravitating toward this land in particular, and just uh, causing chaos at all costs. But hey, at least we got this thing done. And this does look fantastic with all this water in there. This can be a great thumbnail. Now the problem is... I have to raise this or else we're not going to have any... Uh, water in here. And this is... Let's just go all the way up to six. We'll just completely, uh, completely raise this. Try to get as much in here as we can in the last half a day. This special, not quite the longest episode episode. But look at all this water that we have absolutely no reason to be storing in here. Except for turning most of the map green. There's still little bits and pieces that aren't. But I think this is uh, fantastic. Let's actually... Development console. This is how I take my uh, screenshots. Free mode camera. And toggle the fog off. And then zoom way out. Look at this. Look how cool that looks. All that water. So we actually, if we want to make the whole map green, we just have to get some uh, water towers up in the corners here. And then up here in this general area. And then, of course, we'll do something cool here. But yeah, this is looking pretty sweet. Pretty cool. I will uh, turn the fog back on. Yeah, see, that's why you can't zoom out that much. Get out of free mode, and then, of course, it dumps me back to uh, 
where I was before. Got 0.3 days left. We are turbo watering again. Although it's not gonna get not gonna get too much higher in 0.2 days. Just a little bit higher. And then we'll see just how uh how long of a drought we're about to get. But this looks so cool with all this water in here. And this dam is finally complete. This one has been done for a long time. That's a big relief. This one actually didn't get finished. Too far. Okay, well, I gotta get off of development console mode. Okay, why are we up to 44? Is somebody getting wet fur that's not supposed to be getting wet fur? Just like paranoid looking for a... I guess this is, uh, okay. Could be a lot higher, actually. I don't know what the cap is on well-being. I think it's some, maybe somewhere in the 50s. But we could definitely, uh, definitely do a lot better, and we will. Oh, there's no, uh, <laughs> there's no water here. All right. Well, at any rate, I think we can be really happy with this. Except for the trains not carrying water. Oh, now it's receiving water. Okay, I don't, I don't know what that was about then. Maybe it's just one of those uh, weird idiosyncrasies for, uh, you know, custom building mods for a game that's still in development. Crazy people do this. But we love them. 36 days, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. Fantastic test for a almost fully uh, stored water system with all of this extra water over here that I haven't put any pumps in to collect. But look at all this. This is, I just love this. We've gotten so much done. We can be very, very happy with all this. And with a little bit more fine tuning and stuff, we're going to have a really, really cool, fully functioning, basically maxed out settlement. Once I purchase all of the other stuff I haven't I gotten yet, like these side platforms. Uh, we already did all the monuments, decoration stuff we don't really care too much about. Gravity batteries, uh, I said we didn't need them because of the way we were generating power, but you know, it might have been nice to have a couple. Yeah, there's really not uh, not much left to do. I, we could mess with the deep mechanical water pumps. That's actually something I was kind of thinking of doing is having a uh, having a couple of pumps set into areas like uh, maybe right here to just kind of pump from this enormous huge reservoir into a smaller one or maybe even thinking of a way to have some sort of a reverse aqueduct kind of if we could figure out how to make that work using the pumps just kind of like stair step up Kind of like how uh, salmon, when they go to spawn, will jump over waterfalls and stuff. I always thought that's kind of cool. Maybe more of something to play with in a uh, development testing world. But at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this one. We, we kind of broke the rules a little bit by, uh, well, a little bit, a lot of bit, by uh, changing these to be vastly more powerful. But look what it gave us. This is, this is why we built the wall. The big levee in the corner here. And this is super cool. It's entirely too much water. We will never, ever need this much. But, you know, sometimes you just want to do stuff because you can. And that's what we did. That's what we set out to do. And I think we got some fantastic results. And we're still completely fine. We're completely healthy. Everything's good. We have plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of beavers. Probably too many beavers, actually. Should be uh, winding that down. I am going to probably next episode build another set of uh, bot part factories. And we're going to try and get as many bots as we can set up to, uh, to take over most of the jobs. Then we can decrease the amount of actual beavers we have. And uh, put in a lot more leisure stuff, decrease working hours. And make a true utopia. And we didn't even need all this. So we can... Uh, I guess get rid of these. We'll just set those to empty. And uh, they'll take care of themselves. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Again, uh, we renamed these two districts. We have Lumberyard and then we have 
over here, Maple. Not you, Maple Grove. I didn't want to click on the dude. And voting right now, I guess by the time you see this episode, I will have already uh, renamed this when recording for tomorrow's. So whatever the winner of this poll ends up being. And then, of course, we'll be launching voting for this poll. Well, I've got a pretty good idea what it's probably going to end up being. I will let you guys vote because that's what we decided we were going to do. And winner, of course, will get chosen. Beaverberg's going to stay Beaverberg. And then next episode, I think we're going to start construction on something really fun for up here. And then we'll figure out how we want to do a grand finale for this series and then put it to bed in a couple episodes. And then we've got all sorts of really fun stuff coming up after that. I got more Timberborn challenge ideas. Got another couple of games in the pipeline I think you guys will really be excited about. And uh, maybe a little surprise Sunday afternoon. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Might have some, uh, some fun stuff. But at any rate, I really appreciate you being here and taking time out of your day to watch these videos, especially these longer ones. I know some of you really like them. Some of you don't. But uh, whether you do or do not, thanks so much for watching. It really makes it a lot of fun to make these videos when there's so many people that are uh, contributing in the comments and having helpful advice or even just saying hi. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy reading the comments. I do read every single one. I can't always respond, but I do read them and I appreciate them. And I appreciate you watching whether you comment or not. And of course, everything else that you've got going on in your life is probably a little bit more important than this, but I thank you for spending some of your precious free time with me. Hopefully you enjoy it. We've got plenty more coming. So whatever it is that you were up to, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.